says astronomer and physicist Howard J. Van Til, this concept of a fully equipped universe is wholly consistent with our experience of God's action in our lives. Was Basil ahead of his times, suggesting that everything God created had a purpose? And if God didn't create it, it just wasn't necessary. Actually, this is the foundation of a new system of Christian philosophy and cosmology. For a long while, we assumed that the stars and the space out there were immaterial, not terribly important, possibly even left over from creation. In recent days, however, we've come to understand that the stars provide more than light, which includes the sun, which is actually a star 193 million miles away, our primary source of light and energy. Stars also produce the basic materials which form the building blocks of the universe. Stars are really hydrogen-producing factories. Some of the byproducts are carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen, key elements in sustaining life on planet Earth. About as far back as I can remember, I've had a fascination with stars, with the vastness of the Milky Way, and the discovery of millions and millions of galaxies which actually dwarf the Milky Way. There are literally hundreds of billions of stars out there, none of which would contend Basel are unnecessary. Honestly, the vastness of it all leaves my mind boggled. It's too immense, too far beyond my comprehension, too big for me. But then I think of my own personal life and apply Basel's principle to it. God lavishes his goodness and grace upon my life, bringing into it exactly what I need, withholding nothing that is really necessary. When Jesus taught the disciples to pray, give us this day our daily bread, he was inviting them to look to the Father for his exact precise provision, not a wish list of extravagances. The universe is remarkable because the more we understand about it, the more we realize God has a purpose, and that God is equipped to do certain tasks which are vital to sustain life. The more we understand of God's provision, the greater becomes our appreciation for what we still don't know, which we don't deny, but don't completely comprehend. Of the stars, Isaiah wrote, Lift your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all these? He brings out the starry host one by one and calls them each by name. If God